So given that x equals the log of sec 2y, find its derivative in terms of x. So the first thing first is that I would want to get rid of this log function and um, take an exponential on both sides. We should get ex equals sec 2y. Next, I would like to um, rewrite this as 1 over cos 2y. So we're going to have ex equals 1 over cos 2y. The main idea is to always work in terms of sine and cos because you can get every single answer. Sec, tan, etc. are very can be kind of confusing. Now, what we want to do here is to multiply cos 2y cross, and then we're going to get cos 2y e, uh, ex times ex equals 1. So using the product rule, the way the quick way to do it is to just differentiate the first term, then copy the second, plus the uh, copy the first term, then differentiate the second. So the derivative of the of the cos 2y will give us a, a negative 2 sine 2y times dy of dx. Remember, because it's a y term, the derivative of the 2y will become 2 dy dx. Okay? And then you copy the ex. Plus, now we copy the cos 2y, and we differentiate the ex, which is ex. And to differentiate the 1, well, it's just 0. So... What do we do here now? So now we have our derivative. We can we can rewrite this in terms of dy over dx. And before that, we can cancel out any common terms. So let's cancel out ex because that's gone. Next thing we, we want to do is to um, plus 2 sine 2y dy dx across and divide the whole term by 2 sine 2y. So rewriting everything, you should get something like this. dy dx equals cos 2y all over 2 sine 2y. Put a bracket around them. Now, do you remember earlier when I said let cos 2y equals e to the negative x? Well, <laughs> this is going to be useful. So now we can finally find what sine 2y is in terms of x and cos 2y because we know what cos 2y is. So the fastest way to do this is to use the, the most popular trick identity. And that's it, guys. That's to say let sine squared, let's, let's call it sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal 1. And now we know what cos, cos um, theta is, is um, e negative x. But let's let's solve this in terms of sine, yeah? So if we're going to find the sine theta, we can subtract cos squared theta and then square root. So we're left with something like sine theta equals 1 minus cos squared theta all square root. Now, theta in this case, it will be 2y. So this means that it's right here, sine 2y equals 1 minus cos squared 2y, all rooted. Cos 2y is e negative x, so that means cos squared 2y is e, is, um, uh, the, the e to the power of negative 2x. So this is e power minus 2x. So we can write the top here, so therefore sine 2y equals the square root of 1 minus e negative 2x. And that's it, guys. Plug both of these into the final equation, and you're going to get, therefore, dy dx equals e negative x all over 2 times the square root of e minus e negative 2x. Huh, voila. And yes, this works. I tested it with another method, which is using cot. But yeah, this is the way to do it. And um, hopefully, you guys got something like this. And yeah, other than that, um, let me know if you've got any questions and um, I shall see you all down the road and ciao.